one of the most searched video on the YouTube is how to get data from SharePoint or OneDrive. I'm going to cover the easiest method in this video. So stay tuned. Hello, I'm Mohamed Adnan. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. This is the Power BI desktop file and I have connected to my email ID here to Power BI service. In order to get the data from SharePoint, you have to go get data and then you have this option SharePoint folder or else you can click here and search for SharePoint. It will give the SharePoint folder, SharePoint list and SharePoint on list. In this video, I'm going to take care of the SharePoint folder. So click here and then click connect. If the folder in the SharePoint is shared with you, then you can easily create that and you can copy and paste that URL from here. Let's go to the SharePoint and copy the URL. So this is my SharePoint site and here on the URL, you can just click here and then copy it. Copy this one, company name dot SharePoint dot com slash site slash the folder name, that is BI documents. I'm copying that and paste it here and click OK. It will give the list of items available on to that folder. You can just click on transform data. So it will go to the Power Query Editor. There you can filter the data based on the files, whatever you need. So and then click on the binary of this Excel file to which Excel file you need. Now a table has been added here and if you click on the table again, it will give the, all the information available inside to that table. Here is the data. Now the header column is also in the first row. So you can click here and then use first row as header. Now it will move this first row to the header and also change the type of each and every column automatically. So this is so simple, right? So this is how you can able to get the data from the SharePoint. It's easy and if you have the right, if the document has been shared with you, then you can get this only with the help of this URL and with your email ID and password. If you find this video useful to you, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.